In this tutorial we're going to look at how we add velocity arrows to a flooding picture to look at not only the depth of water but also the direction that water is travelling in. The example on the screen at the moment shows an example river in full flood. In addition to the blue areas of the model representing where, area, where water is inundating the areas, we can also see there are small red arrows indicating the direction of flow. These red arrows can be animated as time goes on to show the different changes in direction as we progress through the simulation. To add arrows to your diagram, simply use the right click and pick up properties and themes. The arrows are added to the picture as part of the 2D zone theme within the GeoPlan. So go to 2D zone and press the edit button to start editing. In this example, we've already created a theme that is showing us arrows. These have been added by putting in a theme, giving it a name, and selecting the field 2D triangle dot sim dot speed 2D. This is the data item that's going to be themed using the arrows. In this example, we're using an auto ranger auto ranging arrangement to look at the scaling. We are using a color setting to define define the line color. We're looking at the visibility of the lines, and we're looking at the length of the lines. As you can see, there are a number of other options that we could select if we wished. Using the auto scale argument, we are looking at all the velocities that are available in the model from zero standing water through to three meters per second. Each arrow is colored red. In the case of any water that's standing still, we are using a zero visibility, so those arrows will not show. But for all other velocities, we are using maximum visibility. If we wished, we could reduce the visibility of some of the slower velocities so that we're not so prominent in the geo view. We're also increasing the line length as the velocity increases. Again, using a drop down, we're using line lengths between 80 and 100 pixels. As we change our definitions, the banner at the top of the screen will show us the variation in arrow size, in arrow length, and in arrow visibility. And as we can see, for any cells that contain standing water, we are not going to be showing an arrow. Once we have set the theme up, press OK. Press OK once more to remove the Properties and Themes dialog from the GeoPlan view itself. And then simply go up to your replay controls and play your simulation. If we start by going back to the beginning of this simulation, we will then um, take the situation back to the almost dry condition and from that point forward we can press play and then let the simulation progress forward one time step at a time and as we do that we'll start to see the water levels in the river increasing until eventually we get to a point where the water level will reach the bank elevations in the network and then the river will go into a flood situation. If we wish we can pause at any particular point in the simulation and go to a particular part of the storm simply by clicking the uh, timer arrow that we can see here and perhaps play forward from that point and there we'll start to see the uh, arrows building up as the water velocities increase in the model. 